Every time I go to Ikea, something goes wrong. Or I buy things I don't need. And like five years ago, I got lost. And I never, ever learn from my mistakes. I haven't decided if this place is heaven or hell. This is the second time I've been this week. We came in a couple of days ago and needed six bookcases, but because of the crowds and the lights and the sounds of IKEA, we got confused and we only bought five. So we're back to buy one bookcase. I have no idea why I'm looking at desks. Like, why is this necessary? Why? Probably need that. Probably not, hey. Probably need this, but not for that price. For that price, I could get like 700 packs of noodles. Need all of this. And this. Definitely don't need that. And then I recorded like 20 seconds mm. of the wallpaper because I thought it was cool and I even asked and found out that it wasn't for sale. I brought my DSL at IKEA. I feel this was a bad decision. Now this is en route to the first disaster of the day, the food court. I should have listened to the floor and turned around and I've put in super dramatic music here because I feel it really conveys the reality of the situation. Last time I had meatballs, I got sick. The time before that, I had meatballs, I got even more sick. Not really sure why I thought this time would be different. Also, my body was full of Swedish meatball. Evil, nasty, little meatballs. This bit was honestly traumatic. We thought it was gonna be a good idea to check out the photo frame section, and then I just got hit by this wave of Swedish meatball themed nausea. Like, usually it takes a few hours to digest, but this shit was so nasty, I was experiencing things not even 15 minutes after eating. Picture this, practically running back through Ikea, packed bathroom, guy next to me with extremely vocal bowels, and a 40 degree day. Ah, <sighs> the memories. But let's not stop the disaster there! So at this point I've died and activated my second life after being booted from the first one by meatballs. Well getting the bookcase I thought it'd be fun to do a bit of a walk by shot. Just had a bit of a disaster courtesy of Ikea meatballs for breakfast. That was a mistake. And um... And um, clearly my meatballs were spiked because you can tell that I'm totally spaced out here for some reason. So spaced out that I actually left my camera on the shelf in the warehouse section of Ikea for a solid 15 minutes. And I just kept walking and then I realised and panicked and couldn't find it. Oh my god. Finally leaving this place and then this asshole pushes in front of us. Why do we buy so many photo frames? So we're done in Ikea and my god that was horrible. Now I have to go home and build it. I mean I like Ikea but you just you go in there to buy one thing. Like I went in there to buy a bookcase and I came out with like 16 picture frames. Like cool. I mean they're, they're nice picture frames though. I'll come back. Stay there. Stay there. Stay. So now I'm going to show you how not to build an IKEA bookshelf. First you're going to want to pick a completely inappropriate outfit. I decided to go for the nice collared shirt, leather heel figure watch and nice shorts combo. Very 2016. And you're going to want to make sure that you get a paper cut early on. Then you're going to want to make sure that you're building on the hottest day possible. I've selected a friendly 39 degrees. Then you'll want to read the instructions incorrectly and annoy your dog by constantly moving around and making unnecessary noise. And it's always good to put things in the wrong way to make it harder for yourself later. Then to try and make yourself look knowledgeable, do a hammering technique you saw on YouTube but do it incorrectly and still try and claim it as a success. Realise you look like the sweaty before shot on a weight loss show, then you have to slide the backing in incorrectly and nail it in before you can fix it. Panic and consult your mum. Make sure you're using a really shitty camera angle so you can't see what the final product looks like. So that's how you put together a Billy bookcase. I'm literally dripping in sweat, look at my cheeks. 
looks like I ran a marathon. I'm gonna go get changed and I have to build another two ball cases, so wish me luck and I'll see you next week. Bye! Hi Michael, that doesn't fit in with what we have at home.